Hello and welcome to another EKG educational video and today we're going to be talking about supraventricular tachycardia or SVT. So SVT can also be called PAT or paroxysmal atrial tachycardia but we'll just be calling it SVT that is kind of the most common name. But the origination of this name, supraventricular, means that this rhythm occurs above the ventricles or in the atrium. In SVT, the rate is typically greater than 150 beats per minute. Now, this doesn't mean if you have a rate greater than 150 beats per minute, it's automatically SVT, because in SVT, the P waves and T waves are hidden. In SVT, the QRS complex is normal or less than 0 0.10 seconds, and your R to R intervals are even and consistent. So SVT treatments, there are pretty much three main treatments. The first is vagal maneuvers, and this it can be done by bearing down, or you can blow on your thumb, anything that stimulates the vagal nerve to hopefully lower the heart rate. The second treatment is adenosine, and adenosine, we're not going to go too much into it, but basically it rapidly slows down the heart and to hopefully convert the SVT back to the regular rhythm. And the third treatment is a synchronized cardioversion. It's important to note that these treatments are for sustained SVT, meaning that the person is not coming out of SVT. Um, these treatments are not for someone who just goes into SVT for a few beats because SVT can occur rapidly and disappear after just a few beats. It's also important to note that SVT can look a lot like AFib RVR or rapid ventricular rate because the AFib RVR is so quickly, it can look a lot like SVT. A lot of times we will try adenosine on AFib RVR if we're not sure if it's SVT or AFib RVR, but adenosine will not work for AFib RVR. It'll go right back to the high rhythm rate that it's at. SVT that is sustained is an emergency, and this is because the heart cannot sustain this fast rhythm without having symptoms that come along with it. Because your heart rate is so quick, this causes decreased filling time in the heart, which decreases your cardiac output to the rest of the body, and therefore your blood pressure will be lower as well. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure you check out my other EKG videos.